Hi everyone! Today in the video, we built a bunker for all the residents of our village to protect themselves from tornadoes. We went out to get supplies, and I got sucked into a tornado, and this tornado, it destroyed our entire village. What a blustery morning. I couldn't get a good night's sleep because of the high winds. I wonder what the weather's gonna be like. Hopefully it won't be too bad. My god, this thunder sounds like explosions and it's raining, so I need a warming drink. Maybe coffee or tea. Who's here this early and in this terrible weather? Is it Mikey? JJ, it's me, Mikey. Because of the weather, we can't go out. So I came to your place to play a game or something interesting to do. Come in quickly. Don't get wet or you'll get sick. There's a strong wind. It's not good. Okay, well, first of all, do you have any goodies? A cake or something sweet? Unfortunately, no. You know I rarely eat sweets. It's okay! Let's go play a console! Okay, let's just watch the weather and the news first. I think there's gonna be some big news there. Alright, let's go. Breaking news! A huge tornado has appeared and destroyed one village, heading towards the northwest. Urgently make a bunker and stock up on food. Will appear in about two and a half hours. What is this? Oh my god, we have to build the bunker. Let's go, we have about two hours. Faster than JJ, that's very scary. Wait, Mikey. I think we need to notify all the villagers and work together to build a shelter for the whole village. Great idea. Let's split up and go to all the houses and gather everyone at the stage by the fire building. Dear villagers, your attention is urgent. A very dangerous tornado is approaching us. Its power is incredibly high. The wind is already tearing everything in its path, and we have only two and a half hours left to save ourselves. We must band together immediately and build a bunker. It's our only safe place. No hesitation. Every second is worth its weight in gold. Everyone take your entire family and all the necessities and sign up with my friend Mikey. The bunker will protect us from the elements. It's the only place we can wait out this disaster. Let's act fast and organize for our safety. Great speech, JJ. I've got 18 people on my list. That's the whole village. Mikey, now we need to not waste a second of time and quickly get everything we need out of the house and start building the bunker. Okay, JJ. I'm gonna run home real quick and meet you at your house in five minutes. I need to run home and get everything I need and start building. I'll take any help I can get. All right, Mikey. We've finished the bunker. We're almost there. How many more people are on the list? There's two more people, but there's one more to go. He's running late. I hope he makes it. You can go through. You're on the list. He's running a little late. I hope he's okay. But we have to wait for him. We can't get into the bunker without him. There's the last man. Go ahead and run. You're the last man on the list. So run straight into the bunker. Great, that was the last one. Now that all the residents are here, it's time for us to come in and see what's going on. Good idea. Then we'll have to go out and wait for that tornado. See if we get lucky and it goes around the village. We have a hallway like this and at the end of it is a huge metal door that I know weighs four tons. Here we have a small storage area with some chests and stoves, and then we have the restroom. The restroom was set up by Mikey. Hopefully when we go in, there won't be anyone there, or I'll be too embarrassed to disturb people on the toilet. Well, two sinks, one large bathtub, towels, soap, one urinal, and two toilets. There's nothing interesting here. We go onto the kitchen, which is full of goodies. There's enough food in the kitchen, everyone's brought food from home, and we should have enough for four weeks. It's about to be lunchtime, so let's hurry up and finish looking around. And now the most important room is the restroom. There are several bunk beds and various entertainment to kill time because it's unclear how long this tornado will rage. <gasps> Whoa! There's even a special vending machine for dancing, which is pretty cool. Well, we're done with the bunker inspection. Now we have to go upstairs and wait for the tornado. Let's hope for the best. Come on, Mikey. I can hear the wind from upstairs. We must be in trouble. Let's not jump to conclusions. We just have to go upstairs and wait and see, but the wind is really strong. It's blowing me away. Ah! Ah! Here it comes. It's bigger than we've seen on the news. I'm being carried away, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Let's get inside or we're going to get blown away. My goodness, JJ. Did you see how destructive that tornado is? Mikey, don't look back. Just run forward. Don't waste time panicking. Now that we're safely tucked away in the bunker, what are we going to do? First, let's go to the break room and see what we can play and kill a lot of time. Now we have a lot of time. I think we can dance on a special dancing machine. I think it'll be fun. 
Woohoo! Unfortunately, the dancing machine is occupied. Maybe billiards. Although you don't know how to play billiards. Then let's play table soccer and take some of the villagers with us. The weather is storming more than usual today. JJ, we're out of food. There's almost nothing left. Well, it could be worse, right? We still held on for two weeks, and that's something. Something? We can't hold out much longer, JJ. We're out of supplies, and there's a tornado out there so strong, nothing seems to be stopping it. Somehow, we miscalculated our supplies, or who took more food than they should have, but we won't know that now. We have to figure out what to do. Well, maybe the tornado will subside soon. It can't last forever, can it? Have you seen what's going on out there? These tornadoes have been going on for days and we don't know what's left of the village. So what? We just sit here and wait to starve to death? No, we should go out and try to find something. Get out? What are we gonna find out there but rubble and scattered houses? We'll either get blown away or something will fall on our heads. I'd rather die trying to do something than sit here and slowly fade away. We can find some store. We just have to be careful. Careful? Really? Did you see that tornado smashing everything in its path? One mistake, and we're just gonna get smashed to smithereens. Well, if we get squashed, at least we got a shot, right? Mikey, I can't sit here and wait for the end. Let's at least see what's out there. Okay, but if anything goes wrong, we come right back. No heroics, no risks. Ah! Mikey, I'm being sucked up by a tornado. Get back to the bunker now. I'll figure something out. JJ, hang in there. It's so powerful. I have to try to get a grip on something, or I'll be lifted into the sky at this rate. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not working. I'm passing out from the pressure in the air. Where am I? What even happened? Everything's blown apart. Is this a dream? Here we go. Woke up to chaos. The village. It wasn't so destroyed. I distinctly remember. All the houses, they're just gone. It's like someone shouted, delete, and highlighted it, and erased it. We have to do something. I can't just stand by and watch this. Now we need to get back to the bunker. I hope it didn't get hit. On the way, I'll go to the store and get some food, if there's anything but where to start. Okay, well, it's not that bad. Hmm, maybe I can even pull it off. Everything can be repaired. Well, almost everything. I just have to find food first. But it's still scary when everything you've built disappears in seconds. All right, enough with the whining. It's time for action. I'll build a new house. And I'll raise the village. At least the day started for a reason. All right, I've got the food I need. Now we need to get to the bunker. Well, at least that's not lost. Well, maybe that's a sign. Time to move on to new biomes. Or should we try to rebuild it all? But I did not expect that the tornado will be so powerful. There is almost nothing left of the village, but I see the bunker and it is intact. At least this is good. I hope Mikey and the residents are not hurt. <laughs> Mikey, I'm back. What? JJ, you're alive. I thought you were dead. I'm so glad you're back. What happened to you? I have a lot of stories to tell. For starters, I brought food and also the tornado is over. But now we need to get everyone together and start rebuilding the village. And while we're at it, I'll tell you all about it. All right, JJ. I'll go round up everyone and start rebuilding the village. Let's get started. Today, Mikey and I became... We became ninjas, or rather, we're going to be ninjas. But to do that, we're gonna have to go through some things. It's gonna be a test in this area with volcanoes and a sea of lava. We'll have to get to another parkour and not fall into the lava. There will be a prize waiting for us at the end. It will be a chest with ninja items. Mikey, are you ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Let's get through this parkour soon. We need to go through a parkour course over lava on those stone protrusions. It's the ultimate test to become ninjas. Plus, at the end of the challenge, there's a chest filled with ninja items. We have to get there. Oh, 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 hold up. Did you say ninjas? That's like the coolest thing ever. Imagine being able to move swiftly and silently like shadows in the night. I've always been fascinated by the art of the ninja. Absolutely. Being a ninja is not just about fighting skills. It's a way of life. It's about discipline, agility, and mastering the art of espionage. I've dreamt of becoming a ninja since I was a kid. Same here, JJ. We've seen all those movies where ninjas defy gravity and perform unbelievable stunts. And now we have a chance to prove ourselves and become real ninjas. Exactly. 
And you know what? The ninja arsenal is beyond awesome. They have these swords called katanas that are like a symbol of their strength and precision. Just imagine wielding a katana slicing through obstacles with ease. Oh man, that sounds epic! And don't forget about the shurikens! Those star-like projectiles that they throw with such speed and accuracy! We could be like masters of throwing stars, taking out any target with precision! That's right, Mikey. The dexterity of a ninja is something that always fascinated me. The way they move, jump, and flip with such grace and ease, it's like they're defying the laws of physics. We'll be like acrobats of the night. I can't wait, JJ! Let's get through this lava parkour and claim that chest of ninja treasures! I bet it's filled with all sorts of hidden tools and gadgets, like smoke bombs and grappling hooks! We'll be unstoppable! We made it, Mikey! Look at that chest! It's shining with all the colors of the rainbow! This must be the moment we've been waiting for! Let's open it and see what awaits us inside! Oh, wow! Just look at those shiny shurikens and sleek katanas! It's like a dream come true! We're now fully equipped ninjas, ready to take on any challenge that comes our way! We'll practice day and night, honing our skills to perfection. Soon, the whole world will know of our ninja prowess. We'll be the heroes we've always imagined ourselves to be. It's hard to believe this is happening, JJ. We are now living the dream. Let's head home and master these ninja weapons together. The world better watch out, because JJ and Mikey, the unstoppable duo, are now certified ninjas. Meet Ninja JJ and Ninja Mikey. We will defend our village from bandits and evil fiends. Let's go home, Mikey. Let's go home, JJ. That's right. JJ, we're almost home. I suggest we put down our swords before there's a threat and eat cake. Mikey, look, three incredibly agile ninjas just jumped into our house. We've just become ninjas ourselves and we can't let them rob us. We have to protect our home. You're right, JJ! We can't allow these ninjas to get away with our belongings, but we have to be careful! I see that they are armed with katanas just like us! Absolutely, Mikey. We need to come up with a plan to confront them. I suggest we go inside the house and yell at them to leave our belongings peacefully or face a battle. That sounds like a good plan, JJ. Let's show them that we are not to be messed with! I'll use my katana to strike fear into their hearts! Yes, let's show them that they can't mess with us. Ready, Mikey? Let's go! Hey, you ninja intruders! Leave our house peacefully or prepare for a battle. You're fools! You will die by our swords! You will not survive! We are in the majority! Attack! Look out, JJ! Defend yourself! I won't let them overpower us, Mikey! Take that! Mikey, did you see that? You did a fan- Rest. What on earth is going on? Those screams and shouts are piercing through the peacefulness of our village. Imagana looks out the window and sees a horde of angry bandits invading the settlement. They are storming into homes, mercilessly slaughtering the sleeping inhabitants. Mikey! Mikey, wake up! We're under attack! Our village is being destroyed right before our eyes! Oh no! Mikey remains sound asleep, unaware of the imminent danger. I can't wake him up! Oh no! They are heartless marauders! They are vandalizing everything in their path, leaving destruction in their wake! This can't be happening. We need to do something, Mikey. Oh my goodness. There are so many angry robbers attacking the village. They're going into people's homes and killing them. This is shocking. What? Are you serious? We need to do something to save the village. Oh my god, Mikey, you're awake. Finally, yay. Oh my goodness. We have to do something, JJ. We can't just stand here and watch our village being destroyed. We need to save everyone. I know, Mikey, but we have to be careful. These robbers are dangerous. They might attack us too if they see us. We need a plan. You're right, JJ. We can use our ninja skills to defeat them. We are fast and agile. Remember all those training sessions we had? Absolutely, Mikey. Being ninjas is our strength. We can unleash our shurikens and katanas on these robbers. They won't know what hit them. Let's show them what we're made of. But wait, JJ, remember the secret stash of speed potions and golden apples? We should grab them before we go into battle. They will give us an extra edge. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. Good thinking, Mikey. The speed potions will make us even faster and the golden apples will give us strength. Let's grab everything from the safes and head out to fight. We are going to save our village, JJ. We will be the heroes everyone needs. Let's make our ancestors proud with our ninja skills. Being able to fight off these villains like true ninjas is an incredible feeling. We are living a dream. It is indeed a dream come true, JJ. We've always admired the bravery and agility of ninjas, and now we get to show the world what we're capable of. 
JJ! We'll show them the power of our training and determination. They won't know what hit them. Take that! And that! You won't harm our village anymore, you villains! It's time to end this chaos once and for all! Let's give it our all, JJ! Look, Mikey, the last robber is there. True heroes in our own right. We did it, Mikey! We defeated them all! Our village is safe once again! Okay, viewers, that was JJ and Mikey, and we thank you for watching. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to like this video. Bye bye bye. Let's get started. Today we're going to speedrun Minecraft. Mikey and I will be competing for one very interesting prize. It's a very expensive and very coveted prize. Mikey, are you ready to see what it is? Yes, JJ, let's go see what's up. I'm very interested. I hope I can win this challenge and take the prize. After all, it's been so long since I've won any competitions. I usually lose, but I'm really confident that I'll beat you. Haha, <laughs> you'll see. Can I open this door? Sure, Mikey. You're gonna love it. I'll tell you right off the bat. This is a safe with some very valuable stuff in it. What's inside is so valuable, you'd risk your life for it. And this, look, that's a thousand diamonds in the safe. Oh my god, 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 wow. This is unbelievably cool. You can either use the diamonds to buy something or make a really big diamond house. Imagine a whole house made of diamonds, that's so cool. And if you run out of your set of diamond items, you can always make it again, because there are so many of them. Okay, follow me. I'm gonna show you the essence of the challenge. Today, we're gonna speedrun Minecraft. And it's not just any speedrun, we'll be controlling the elements of fire and ice. Look, there are two elements in this garage. Choose your own, and take this armor and the contents of the chest. I'm giving you the right to choose. JJ, to be sure, I choose ice. Because with ice, I'll try to freeze you and you won't run anywhere. I'll be the hunter this time, right? Then I'll have to kill you to win the challenge. You'll see how hard it is to be a speedrunner, haha. <laughs> Great choice, Mikey. Yes, I'm gonna be a speed runner, but don't relax now. After all, you're going to have to run after me for a long, long time. It's a tough job, <laughs> Because if you don't beat me, I'll kill the Ender Dragon and win those thousand diamonds from the safe. Well, here we go. You better run, ha! Ah! JJ, you're not getting away from me. I'm giving you a head start so you can make a little run for it. Because I'm faster than you with my armor. I can glide like ice. We'll see about that. Well, let's run. Goodbye, Mikey. Looks like I've got the upper hand now. Hey, come on, that's not fair. How am I supposed to get through this lava? Uh, maybe my armor will vaporize the lava and turn it into obsidian? Let's test it. Uh, you know what, Mikey? I wouldn't advise you to do that. You better find a way around it. Simple advice, otherwise you're just gonna burn up. Watch out, JJ, you're dead. I'm jumping for you, you're going to lose in this challenge. Whoa, ah, help, this is really hot. Oh no, what have I done? This is very hot lava. My armor is only helping me a little. This ice is terrible. Oh! Now let's keep running. I was able to get away from Mikey, but not for long. Soon he'll be right next to me and I'll have to run away from him again. Now I have a boat and I can go fast on this river. I'll sail far away and Mikey won't find me. Wait, what? Mikey, is that you? How'd you find me so fast? I have my own secrets, JJ. But now you'll see what my armor can do. <laughs> this is going to be very easy. Did you know my sword goes crazy with one blow? This is going to be extremely easy. Oops, I think Mikey's catching up to me. He can walk on water and turn it into ice. Uh-oh, I think he's really keeping up. What am I gonna do? Hmm, but stop. I don't think my boat is that slow. Mikey, you're behind me again. Hey, uh, no, not now. Hey, JJ, stop for a minute. I'm tired of running, and you're faster than me. But even if I don't catch up with you now, I'll still find you. Okay, 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 I'll see you later. <laughs> Now I'm completely off Mikey's back. He won't be around for a while. I think I need to get some coal. I'll also need to get iron and then diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. Wait, what? Are those diamonds or is it just me? Am I just dreaming? Oh Lord, unbelievable. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe it. It's a diamond quarry. It's extremely rare. A one in a million chance of finding one in the mountains. Very good. Now I can make a diamond pickaxe and still have diamonds, but it's still a lot less than in that safe. So I need to keep fighting for this prize. My fire pickaxe can't mine obsidian, which I need for the portal. It can only set fire to anyone I hit. That's obviously not its best ability right now. 
Now I have also mined iron and made iron buckets. I can make a portal to hell. There I will get the things I need for the speed run. I will need to get to the end at the end to kill the dragon, just so Mikey doesn't show up here and ruin all the fun. Hmm, I think I heard something. Maybe it sounded like footsteps, but no, I was imagining things. How could anyone be around here? It can't be Mikey, right? I lost, didn't I? Wait, what? Looks like I'm still alive, hmm? I must have fallen somewhere secret. I punched my way through the ground I fell on and I ended up here. This looks like a dungeon with monsters, but for some reason there aren't any. Oh my god, wow, unbelievable luck. Is that a portal to the end? Looks like this speed run's gonna be easy for me. Mikey's gonna be upset when he realizes I'm already in the end. Now all I have to do is figure out how to get under this grid. It can't be broken through with a pickaxe or your hands. It's super strong. Hmm, where's the way down? Uh, one of the passageways leads up the other way. Maybe there's a way down. We should check it out. Uh, uh, I think there's a grate there too. That's not good. Well, I'm sure there's no way Mikey's getting in here, but soon he'll realize that I'm not dead and that I'm still alive and he'll come looking for me. He'll probably be able to get in here by accident. I need to get through that portal before he gets here. There's the portal, so, uh, now, uh, whoa, I hear something. Is that Mikey? Is that him? There you are. I thought I'd already won, but when I got back to the prize spot, it was blocked because you were still alive. I can beat you, JJ. Don't even try to jump through the portal this time. You know what, Mikey? I got a gun, too. Your trunk wasn't the only one with weapons besides your sword. Look at this. What do you think? It's a flamethrower. It's obviously more powerful than your poop-throwing toilet cannon. Oh, no! It's time for the final battle. I jump into the portal and go fight the dragon. Victory is mine. Ah. Oh no, Mikey, he's already here, but how? Okay, I just need to get better with this flamethrower. It's so powerful, it can even set a dragon on fire. Just a little more, uh. Wait, what? You defeated the dragon? Does that mean I lost? Yeah, Mikey, you lost, I won, and now the diamonds are mine. But since you're my friend, I'll give half of the diamonds to you. How's that? I lost. Wait, what? You're giving me half? That's so great. Awesome, JJ. I'm in. Awesome. You're a great friend. Thank you. Okay, viewers. That was JJ and Mikey, and we thank you for watching. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to like this video. Bye, bye, bye. Let's get started. The thing is, we've been cursed. Mikey and I are now dogs, which means we have to survive like this. It's not going to be easy. Hmm. Okay, Mikey. Looks like we're going to have to find a way to break this curse. JJ, I don't know what we're going to do, but I think I'm starting to starve. I need something to eat. Dogs are more likely to be hungry than humans, so we'll need to find plenty of food to survive. Because without food, we'll die before we find a way to break the curse. Look what's in here. They're cakes. We have two whole big vanilla cakes. They're incredibly hearty and delicious. You love them, right? When we were human, we'd eat all the cakes in a heartbeat. You're gonna love it. It will satisfy our hunger. Hmm, I think that smell is vile. Oh, that's really not it. I don't think I wanna eat these cakes. JJ, you're right. Apparently dogs hate candy. Eh, that's sad. I don't want to eat cake now. Let's try to find something like bones or meat. I think that would be great. You'll see. Look in the fridge or the trunk. Maybe there's food in there. The trouble is, I have paws instead of hands, and I can't open the chest or refrigerator or anything. It's impossible. Okay, Mikey, let's go see what's outside. Maybe we'll find some better food out there. Or we'll find some vegetables because we're in a village. That's right. You're a genius. Let's go quickly. I'll starve to death if I don't eat. Well, uh, what is it? There's a lot of stuff. I think there are potatoes, beets, and carrots. There's even watermelon and pumpkin. There's so much food here, we'll have enough to last us for many, many days. Hmm, I don't really like the smell of vegetables. I'm afraid dogs don't eat potatoes and carrots either. Uh, Mikey, it's true. I really don't want to eat that. We're gonna have to go out and find some real food. Okay, let's go. It's okay that we can't eat it. We're in the village. There are so many villagers and also farms with cows and pigs that someone is bound to give us food. That means we're bound to find food. I suggest we go to the first house where there are people and knock on the door. They will open the door and we will ask for food. That's a great plan. Look, it's a cake place, a cafe. They sell them, but we don't want them. That's too bad. But okay, let's go to the Target. Let's see if anyone's in the house. Maybe they'll actually open up and let us eat. That'd be great. Come on. But you know what? We have to be careful. Some villagers hate dogs and wolves. They even kill them. It's extremely dangerous if we run into a villager like that. That villager might just kill us. Or if we're lucky, just chase us away. But I have a bad feeling about this. He 
He probably won't want to share his food with us and it won't be good. Well, let's go. Hmm, get ready, Mikey. Uh, you know what? Uh, by the way, he's got an outbuilding on the side of his house. It's a cow farm. Maybe we can try to eat a couple cows if he refuses to give us food. Uh, uh, mister, we want food. Give us food, please. Yes, give us food. We're very hungry. We're really hungry and we're going to die if we don't eat something. We need bones at least. That'll be fine. You sure have bones and you can give us some, can't you? Get out of here. I hate dogs and I don't give them food. Not even bones. You're not worthy of food. Get out. I'll warn you once. If I see you here, I'll shoot you with a gun. JJ, that's terrible. What can we do? We have no choice. We have to find a way to find food ourselves. You know what, Mikey? I noticed that there's a corral of cows over there behind that fence. Maybe we'll find something edible there. But the fence is locked. How can we get in? Look, there's a bench down there. I think if we jump over it, we can get inside the enclosure. Good idea, JJ, but be careful. We're so badly cursed, we may well find ourselves turned into dogs. Surely we can control our bodies. We have no choice, Mikey. We have to try. If we run like dogs, we might find a way into the pen. Good idea, JJ. But be careful. We're so badly cursed, we may well find ourselves turned into dogs. Surely we can control our bodies. We're gonna have to try, Mikey. You know, it's getting more and more difficult in our situation. If we can find a way into the corral, I can use my teeth to get the meat out of the cows. Of course, JJ. I'll help you with that. We both have to do our best not to starve to death. This farmer has no right to keep all the food for himself. Mikey, go through that entrance. You can easily jump this place and find the cows. We need to kill a few to get a lot of meat and eat it. That way we won't starve to death. Wow, you got a good one. Now let's eat it last. A little more and I'd really die. Let's go and do it. But be on the lookout. There's that farmer over there. If he hears what we're doing, he'll want to shoot us. That's right. Hey, Mikey, what are the perks of being a dog? I think the upside is that we're small and fast. We can also beg food from people who love dogs and live with them. We don't have to mine diamonds and coal to survive, and that means it's very cool. Hmm, that's right, that's right. Good job, Mikey. And I think the upside is that we're really fast. Let's get this over with. JJ, I'll help you with that. We both have to do our best not to starve to death. This farmer has no right to keep all the food for himself. Hey, I heard footsteps. Let's be on the lookout, seriously. One more minute and we're out of here. Oh my god, JJ, what are we gonna do? Now all we have to do is find a way to become human. Mikey, follow me. We're going to kill a legendary ancient werewolf to become human again. Okay, JJ, come on, let's go quickly. JJ, look, we need to pass the trials to get to the final boss, the ancient werewolf. To do that, we have to get through this lava and through spikes and lasers. It's extremely dangerous and we might even die, but we have no choice. Being human is more comfortable than being dogs. So we have to get through this. We'll be strong and we'll beat him. Wow, it's very complicated and dangerous. One wrong step and we'll fall down. There's lava down here and it's very hot. And there are spikes up ahead. They look very sharp. Plus, they seem to be the spikes that poison everything. If we bump into them, we'll die from the poison. Oh, there's the portal. We just have to get through the lasers and into that portal. That's great. Let's teleport faster. Come on, Mikey. We're running out of time. I want to be human already. Now. Finally, we went back in. Looks like we teleported home, JJ. I can feel myself changing. Oh, yay. I'm human again. You will be too in a few seconds. Finally, now we can wrap this up. Let's finish this quickly. Okay, viewers, that was JJ and Mikey, and we thank you for watching. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to like this video. Bye, bye, bye. Nice. Another wonderful morning. Time to start the day. Let's step outside. <laughs> hmm? What? Hang on. What's going on? Huh? Everywhere I look, there are freaky-looking zombies gathering. What's happening? Seriously, this looks really bad. I better grab some weapons. What is this about? Those freaky zombies are everywhere. Whoa, what's their deal? They're just hanging out around my house. I definitely need to grab some weapons. I want to defend myself. Okay, here we go. Down the hatch. I need to hop across my secret lava security. Yes! This is the place where I keep my armory. Open! 
All right. The armor comes first. Let's gear up. I have a full set of diamond armor on. Next up, let's check the chest. Here's where I keep my weapons. Let's see. I'll need my Tesla gun and a laser rifle. Some ammo, some obsidian too. Not to mention a whole bunch of TNT. Also, I'll need my diamond pickaxe, golden apples, and a flint and steel. I should bring enough for Mikey too. I bet all of this will be enough for both of us. Okay, now I'm all loaded up. Let's eliminate the zombie outbreak before it gets out of hand. I'll take care of this. Unfortunately, I can't really see what's going on from down here, so I'll need to climb up a little. All right, this should do it. Woohoo! Pew, pew, pew! You're going down! Yeah! All right! Got one! There we go. Awesome! They're going down one by one. But there are still so many zombies left. Who knows how long this will take? There's no end to them. It's gonna be hard defending this place all by myself. Uh-oh. I totally forgot about Mikey! That's his house over there, right? Is he doing okay? I need to make a break for it. Here I go! Whoops! Shoot! Uh-oh! They're following me! I better get to his house right away! Please be safe, Mikey! Hmm? He's still asleep? <coughs> Mikey, get up! <coughs> Hurry up, Mikey! Come on, wake up! <coughs> Biting! Oh, JJ, what's up? Something terrible has happened, Mikey. Whatever you do, don't go outside. It's not safe, I promise. Hmm? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> no way! Well, that's what I was trying to tell you. There are zombies outside. Yikes! There are mutant zombies everywhere. <laughs> Why? I don't know, Mikey, but it's okay. I brought you some equipment. Take this armor. Oh, thanks. Some weapons. Thanks, I'm scared. TNT. Flint and steel. And some obsidian. Oops. Be careful. Right. I also brought ammo. Thanks. Okay, Mikey. We have to work together to slay those zombies. Are you with me? Right. Thanks for the weapons and armor. It should be a piece of cake to stop them all. Well, I couldn't do much alone. But together, we can do it. We have access to your roof, right? Yep. Cool. They look tough. Let's go. We got this. Hang on. Easy as pie. Yikes. Uh, there's too many of them. But it's easy. Just blast them. Keep fighting, Mikey. Get them. Use your laser rifle. Okay. Yes. It's working. We're actually beating them. Nice. Slay them all. These guys are really tough. There's no end to them. Is there? I guess! No! There are more behind us! Uh, hang on, Mikey! They're endless! There's so many! They just keep coming! Ouch! I've got an idea, Mikey. We have to use our backup plan. There's too many to take down by hand. What are we gonna do? Follow me! Coming! This way! To your house! Okay! Whoa! You're gonna love it, JJ! I made a really cool zombie research lab! Zombie what now? Check it out! Whoa! That's a zombie villager, right? That's right! But he wasn't always a zombie, so I built a lab to try to cure him! I've done a lot of research, but I still haven't found a way to cure him and turn him back to normal. I've tried everything I can think of. Hmm. Here, have some more. Are those? Cookies? Yeah. It's like I told you, none of my ideas work. He's not eating. Anyway, I still haven't given up on my testing. Oh, 
Let me give you a tour of my zombie research lab. Sure. What's this place? This is the zombie combat training area. It's a place where you can practice battling zombies. Pretty cool, right, JJ? Uh, yeah, it's totally cool, Mikey. Give it a try. Do some training. Fight the zombie? Uh, can I use one of these swords? Of course. That sounds fun. It's just the one zombie, right? Yeah, only one. For now, at least. Just don't let your guard down. Ready, JJ? Sure. Okay, here I go. Whoa! Start! Okay! Take this! Get him! Wait, what? <laughs> Mikey, I thought there would just be one zombie! Lesson one! You never know how many zombies there are! Fine, I can handle it. Huh? Yes! What? Got it! Uh, but there were three of them! Well done, JJ! You've gained some valuable experience fighting zombies! Oh, how about I show you the research lab's basement? Follow me, JJ! It's down here, below the trap door! Nice secret entrance! Thanks! Oh, more zombies! Ready? Three, two, one, go! Snow golems? Fight the zombies! I'm testing snow golems as a zombie defense system! <laughs> Uh-oh! Come on, hang in there! No! Oh, they couldn't beat the zombies! I love snow golems, they're so cute! But every single time they lose to the zombies! I just don't know why! They haven't won a single time! I guess I just have to do more research! Well, Mikey, a snow golem snowball only do damage to things like blazes or the ender dragon. They just can't hurt zombies. Not even a little bit. Really? I didn't know that. Then does that mean all of this research was for nothing? Well, you can always use snow golems as decoys and beat the zombies in other ways. So, my research wasn't just a waste of time? I forgot to tell you this earlier, Mikey, but... Hmm? I've actually been researching zombies on my own in secret. Really? You mean you have a zombie research lab too? That's right. I built it myself. Wow! Also, I think my lab has exactly the thing you need, Mikey. Come with me. Huh? Exactly what I need? What could that be? Let's check it out. Wait here, guys. Let's go. Here we are. Wow! It's huge! I know, right? How long did this take you to build? Oh, is that a zombie villager? Oh, I feel bad for him. He can never go back to being a villager. Poor guy. Actually... Huh? This zombie villager will be going back to normal. What? That's impossible! How? Here, I'll show you. We'll need a golden apple from this chest, but before we do anything with that, I'll flip this lever. Uh... Flip! Whoa! What did you just do? First, we have to give the zombie villager a dose of medicine. Okay. And now comes the golden apple. Oh. I'm just gonna feed it to him. You mean you're not supposed to feed him any cookies? That's right. Now we just wait a few minutes. He's cured! See? Just like I said, he's back to normal. Wow! This is the medication. Oh! And here's a golden apple. Wow! Use these to cure your friend. Now I can save him! Thank you! Yep! I'm so excited! Okay, come on out, villager. I'm glad he's better. He can go back home. Bye-bye! Hey, Mikey. Hmm? Want to take a look in here? Yeah! What do you have in this area? You'll see. What is this place? Oh, you shouldn't get too close. Why? That's the combat training area. Wow! See that zombie? Yeah. That's the area to practice fighting zombies. Cool! It's like the one I made. Believe it or not, I have experience fighting zombies. I bet I could win, no problem. Could I give it a try? Please? Well, the zombie in there might look normal now, but you can't be too careful. So, take a look at this. 
you should probably take some weapons and armor before going in there to fight that thing. Nah, I don't need any of that stuff. This'll only take a second, so don't worry about me, JJ. Mikey, hang on. Huh? I think you should reconsider. Don't worry about me. It'll be just fine. That's not good. Let's start the battle! Uh, Mikey, you're trapped in there. It's fine. Huh? Look behind you! It's just one zo- Wait, what? What is that thing? Uh, how did it get so big? <laughs> this isn't so bad. Maybe I can still- <laughs> Oh no. Help me! Ouch! If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. In today's video, we're pranking Mikey. We're gonna send him off to slay the Ender Dragon with only the help of a trusty dog. And that dog is none other than... Dun, da, 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 me! But will Mikey figure out that it's actually me? Or will I be able to help him on his quest without getting caught? There's only one way to find out. What are we doing today, JJ? Well, Mikey. You are going to pair up with a dog and slay the Ender Dragon. Sounds like fun. I love dogs. But where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, he'll be here any minute now. But I should get going. Today's video is all about you, so I'll just take the day off. Oh, okay. Let me know when you've slain the Ender Dragon. Will do. Now wait right there. Sure. Is he staying put? Good. This is my chance. I can transform without being seen. Here goes. Ta-da! Look, I'm a dog. I'm gonna keep my mic off all day so Mikey doesn't hear me. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Will Mikey notice that his friendly canine companion is actually me in disguise? Let's find out. Oh, hi. You must be the dog JJ sent to help me slay the Ender Dragon. Don't worry, I'm going to protect you. You can count on me. So, we're gonna need some items. There are tons of useful things in villages. Let's go find one. All right, gotta stick with Mikey. Woohoo! We found one. Villages have plenty of goodies we'll need for our adventure. Let's see what this one has. We're here, and Mikey is keeping busy gathering food supplies. I'm going to do everything I can to support him on his quest. First things first, giving them items that are sure to come in handy. Let's put some distance between us. Good. While he's over there, I'll be over here and... Aha! I'll bury some treasure for him. I'll fill up a chest with a bunch of items he'll need on his adventure, and then I'll place it right here. Hmm. Maybe some iron tools. And a shield. Yeah! And I'll give him a full set of iron armor. Everything into the chest. Oh, to make sure he doesn't take on too much damage, I'll give him some golden apples. They can make all the difference in battle. Now to bury this thing. Oh, wait, I can't just bury it. He'd never find it. I have to mark it too. I'll make an X, just like on a treasure map. Three, four, there. X marks the spot. Mikey's gifts are buried. Now I just have to lead him over here. But how do I do that? I don't want him to discover that I'm not really a dog. Yeah, it'll be fine. I just have to get his attention. Hmm, this ought to do the trick. Hey, stop it! You're traveling all over the garden! Now to lead him this way. Huh? What is it, boy? You want me to come with you? Yeah, that's it. Follow me. Hmm, where are we going? Wait for me! So far, so good. He's still on my tail. And the treasure's right here. Hmm? What? What's the matter, boy? Uh, oh, you want me to dig here, don't you? Okay. Sure, no problem. Yes. Here I go. <gasps> no, no way. There's buried treasure down here. But how? The plan's working! How did you know? Uh. <gasps> Could it be because... Hmm... Right! Dogs have a great sense of smell! Huh? Of course! Your nose is so sensitive! You're even able to smell a hidden chest! I thought he had me figured out for a second. But nope. He has no clue and he's taking the items I left him. 
Thanks, doggy. Now, let's go find a cave. Okay. I want to go looking for some diamonds, but I don't see a way down. We'll splat if we jump from up here. Hmm. What do we do? So he wants to go into the ravine, huh? Well then, I'll use a water bucket to make him a way down. I don't want him to realize that it's me, JJ, but I bet I can get away with this. Huh? How did this happen? <gasps> You're jumping? Hold on! Wait for me! Uh, no! Nice! Uh, how did you make that water? Hmm. Oh, of course, it's so obvious. Dogs love playing in water. It makes perfect sense. I took a risk giving him a hand, but he still hasn't figured it out. Huh? Hmm? Wait. Hold on a second. Uh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I should. A good boy deserves a treat. Here, have another. Whoa. Eat up. I better do what he says. He'll know something's up if I don't eat these steaks. Gotta switch to survival mode. Oh, perfect. I'm just hungry enough. Aww. Yes, he bought it. I'm in the clear. Doggy sure loves steak. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure how I pulled that off, but my secret is safe for now. There must be a ton around here somewhere. I can practically smell them. Oh, Mikey's on the hunt for diamonds, of course. They're not easy to find, though, so I'm going to give him a hand, a paw. I need to help him without him realizing that it's me. Hmm. I can slip him some diamond ore, or I can make it look like he struck diamond over here without even noticing. Like this. Yeah. Dig a little further. There. One more row. Nah, one more. It's probably a little much, but oh well. All right. Now it's time to lead Mikey back here. He isn't paying attention to me, so... Whack! Huh? What's the matter, doggy? Did someone fall down a well? Or are we being attacked? Yoo-hoo, Mikey! What is it, boy? Where are you going? Huh? Oh, no, no, no! I broke it! Ouch! Oops! Hmm? hmm. Did he see it? Huh? Oh! Wait! Could it be? No. Yes, he spotted it! No way! You're kidding me! Wow! How? How were there so many diamonds in one place? And how did you know they were here, boy? Hmm. Huh. Hang on... Uh. <gasps> mm. Oh! It makes perfect sense! This dog can even smell buried diamonds! What a nose! Phew! I really thought he'd figured it out for a second there. Looks like I can keep helping Mikey on his quest in my doggy disguise. You deserve a reward. <laughs> I'm a really good boy. Today, we're holding a zombie security house building competition. Oh, good idea, JJ. That sounds like fun. I'm going to build a security house that can hold off any number of zombies. All right. I'll build here. Let's see who can build the strongest anti-zombie security house. A competition with JJ. Yay! Okay, first I'll build my house's frame. Hmm. Yeah, I want it to be sturdy, so I'll build it with iron. I'll start by laying out the blocks to build the frame. I want to make a nice big house with this. All right, that should do it for the house's frame. Oh, Mikey's hard at work. I'm doing my best. Mine will be more impressive than yours. Mm-hmm. Let's give it our all. Next, I want to reinforce my house by using security lasers. First, I'll make the pillars. And then I'll place the lasers here. I'll surround my entire house with lasers like these. I'll put some on this side, too. Then finally, I'll put some over here. Okay, my security lasers are complete. Basically, it's impossible to reach the area around my house now. But there's just one problem. I can't even get into my own house. 
I'll use slime blocks to build a jump device. I'll dig a hole right here. Here's the slime block. Then, underneath it, I'll place a sticky piston. Then I'll place some redstone here and surround it with furnaces. Then a button here, and when you push it, it lets you jump right over the lasers. I'll make another one on the opposite side. Then a button like on the other side. Now I can leave the property to go outside and still get back in from the outside. Uh, how's it going, Mikey? I'm putting in windows so I can see outside. This is definitely going to be an amazing security house. Oh, it's really coming along, Mikey. I need to pick up the pace. Okay, I think I'll work on the interior of my house next. First, I'll put in some glass windows so I can see what's going on outside the house. I'll just clear a space out and fill it in with glass panes. Okay, now I'll be able to see outside from within my house. Right, this is a zombie security house, so I only want to put what I absolutely need in the interior. I'll start by putting a bed here. Next, I want to store emergency food and weapons. I'll put a chest here. Now how about breakfast? Bread and, hmm, cookies and golden apples. Maybe water? I also want to put weapons in here. How about a flamethrower? Now to take these and leave them inside the chest. All right, now I have bread, cookies, golden apples, water, and flamethrowers all inside the chest. And with that, my security house is complete. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Oh, are you already finished too, Mikey? Oh, JJ, my anti-zombie security house is complete. Isn't it awesome? Whoa! Show me how it all works, Mikey. Sure! Well, check this out. Look! Here I go! This is a cobweb barrier! Ah! If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe.